Do you make anything out on it? But, oh, yeah, yeah, look, he's got the star, look. All right, guys, here's the deal. I got, uh, been on the river all day and I have some really cool finds. I think you're gonna like, like what I found. I, I sure did. Uh, had a little problem though, because in the beginning, I originally came out to look for uh, Indian artifacts. And I started and I found, uh, I think, one kind of nice little piece. But then I kind of ran out of spots. I wouldn't find anything else. I've never been to this area to look for that, for look for, to look for them. Uh, so I decided to start doing some metal detecting. And first half of the day, I really didn't do well. But the very last part of the day, which is now, I did pretty cool. So I'm going to share with you guys all those fun little finds that I found that I made a video of. There's just no introduction. Now... I'm sorry to have to do it this way, but as they say back in the old country, c'est la vie, n'est-ce pas? All right, you guys watch the video. I'll get this stuff lined up here on the back of the old river rat aqua chigger rig. And um, I guarantee you guys will be very pleased with the finds. I know I was. So this is our first stop of the uh, day. And what we're going to do, just look along the bank here. Is, uh, I thought this thing was cracked in two. I already started looking and I just picked up my first little artifact. So I thought I'd go ahead and start making a video because maybe we'll have some luck today. But that's a, uh, that's a flake. That could actually be an actual tool that they use to cut things with. But uh, that tells us that the... Ooh, what's that? <laughs> that's a blade right here. Tip to a blade. I didn't even see that, but I found the flake right here. So, all right, sweet. Well, that's our... That's my first happy find. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with that, but this actually uh, This actually is uh, part of a nice blade. Just the tip of it, of course. But... Clean it off a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Yes, sir. That would have been a nice one if it had been whole, but still nice and like that. That was really nice and <laughs> nice one. I was talking normal. <laughs> He has a beauty right there. <laughs> well, this is our first stop, and we have all day on the river. Uh, miles and miles and miles of places we can stop. Um, so hopefully, there'll be some good stuff in this area. Imagine there's quite a few pieces uh, mixed in here. They just be, they just would be really much harder to see than, than up in here, but we'll keep our eyes open. This is a nice washed area right here, and I'm seeing some flakes at least. I think this is one here, maybe. Can you see any more? <laughs> I'm sure you can. There's another one here. Here's a nice big one. So we're definitely uh, sitting here at one point making tools. Clean that up a little bit. That's the same material as the uh, that tip we found, isn't it? Oh, we'll have to keep our eyes open. See what else we can see in here. There's probably some artifacts in here if they haven't already been picked up. That's a piece of bark or something there. River treasure. I don't think we'll be able to clean them up. <laughs> At least I wouldn't want to have to wear them. This is kind of interesting. I want to show you something over here. I noticed there's like a, an area right here where there's a bunch of big rocks. And if you look over here on the bank, not up there yet, but there's also a big area with some rocks there. Now, these are all farm fields up here that were farmed by the Indians and by, of course, European Americans. That's probably where the European Americans dump rocks into the river uh, when they were clearing the fields up there. Looks like a dragonfly that is uh, just molted and hasn't straightened its wings out yet, or it's a dragonfly that is in a world of hurt. Because those wings look wrecked, <laughs> don't they? Probably just molted. Let's, let's hope so. All right, back to the boat. Coming down a little bit further. Now well, that's something kind of creepy looking. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought it was a, a dead kangaroo. Gosh, well, what the heck is it? Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be stuck really with something. Uh, that's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> I thought we had found something we probably were not going to be happy with. All right, we're still moving along. I'm also doing a little fishing, but I'm not catching much, so I don't think we're going to get any fishing in the video. 
got Oh, there's his head. What is that thing? Is that a bee or a bee? <laughs> a bee? I don't know. Oh, that's creepy. All right, back in the boat. I just found a nice little musket ball. This is actually a fired one. This came up probably out of a small caliber musket or would it even been a pistol. I reckon it was probably fired across the river to this side because it's not really deformed, but that's a nice little find right there. We'll definitely put that one in the bag. So I just dug this. Uh, you know, I think it's a coin. I'm going to say probably a nickel, but I was hoping it's going to be a button, but I don't think it is. So I'm going to off just a little bit. <laughs> you know what? That's, um, I think that's a V-nickel right there. Definitely not a Jefferson nickel. I think that's a V-nickel. <laughs> Sweet. That's pretty awesome, man. You now we've been here a couple minutes. We've got a V-nickel and a, a fired musket ball. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, that's where I found the V-nickel right there. And another signal I thought was going to be uh, a pull tab. But I do believe that's going to be a big old flat button. What do you think? A big old colonial button right there. Look at that beauty. Wow. Look at the shank on that thing. That's a, that's a gorgeous button right there. That is freaking awesome. That's 1700s easy. You can tell by that, uh, the way the uh, loop is attached to the back. <laughs> that's, that's great. I came back to the boat for a minute because I wanted to switch the uh, uh, and look how red that thing's turned. Isn't that weird? That's actually going to be a tomback button, I believe. Tomback is a material that it's made out of. Uh, copper and either zinc or tin. I'm, I can't remember. I think it's tin. But yeah, it's kind of turned red. That's weird looking. I've had a lot of things that were uh, have been in the water their entire lives. When you pull them out like that, they turn red. Belt buckles included. <laughs> I, don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Just a few feet from where I found that um, tomback button, I just found this, which is, I guess, some type of good luck charm. I don't suppose it's that old. It's uh, definitely a horseshoe, and it looks like it looks like a chicken or something, a prairie chicken or something in there. <laughs> it's probably something else, but uh, that attachment device doesn't look terribly old, but I, I really don't know for sure. I'll have to put my... Uh, Glasses on we'll, uh, a little bit later, and then we'll get a. Uh, I think it says good luck. Maybe we'll get. A, I'll get you a good picture of that. Dug this. This is uh this is some type of iron bolt or something. Maybe maybe it's a nut on it. Can't tell how old that is. I imagine it's fairly old. Uh, you know, it could be colonial for all, for all I know, but it's it's so corroded. There's really no way to tell. I'll dig a little bit of iron in here, uh, but just mostly the bigger stuff. I just wanted to show you this and say I already have it in my hand. All right, just dug a little flat button. You can see it in there? Little tiny, um, pardon, I had to put my glove on because I don't want to get cut. So I guess it's not quite flat, but it's definitely an old button. Could be from the 1700s, could be from the, you know, mid part of the 18, earlier 1800s. I think it's going to be pretty old though, just looking at it. Beautiful tree, isn't it? Big old sycamore tree. Well, that's an interesting target right there. I'm hoping that's going to be like a big old civil war bullet not a sinker yeah i don't know it's got whole yeah it's got holes in the end so this is a sinker i guess a little homemade sinker i was hoping that was going to be like a a uh, whitworth but I, I i don't think it is haven't really showed you this yet but i wanted to just uh point out something to you i noticed there's been a lot of like little footprints all along the bank here and it's uh, pretty much the whole area that i've been in i think what they're doing is looking for indian artifacts you can see how they walk this way they kind of faced in if you look right there in those rocks, those uh, some of those are actually cracked, fire cracked rocks. So I wouldn't be surprised that they were picking up artifacts in here, or at least looking for artifacts. And it's been that way uh, all the way to the boat, which you can just barely see down around the corner. So we're a little bit late on this. This was probably done this past weekend. It doesn't look like it's really been rained on yet. Look at all these iron spikes right in this area here. There's a lot of them. Nice old spikes, and there's the one, two, three, they're all through here. Didn't really get any good squinkers when I went over, but I'm gonna go back over this again. Real close, there's gonna be at least 50 or 60 of those right in this area. Now, that doesn't mean that there was a house or something right up there, but there could have been. 
This could just be a house that washed down the river back in 1840 and lodged up against the bank. I did just get this creaker, which is um, brass, I guess. It's a, some type of fittings, probably older than me, but maybe not too much older. <laughs> But it was a nice good squeaker. Some type of funky folded over piece of lead. I imagine that was used as a fishing weight as well. Could be 200 years old, could be 50 years old. It's really hard to say. I bet it's close to the 250 now. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I worked my way back down to the boat and I got my next good signal and it looks like it's a little flat button. So that's a pewter button or a tom back, I guess. Um, looks like the shank's starting to poke through the front, or that's just a dot as a, you know, part of a decoration. I'm not really sure, but that's definitely a nice old uh, 1700s era button right there. Right back where we started. <laughs> Imagine that. The nice piece of iron here is all hand forged. It looks like it was probably driven into a logs or wood, and it has a nice eye on the end. That's a beautiful piece. I, you know, it's kind of corroded pretty bad. I don't know how, uh, I don't know if I'd be able to save that even, but uh, it's, it's a nice, that's a nice old piece right in the middle where we're getting these buttons. I have a really good squeaker here and I don't have it uncovered yet. I thought I'd get you out for the last, uh, for the last hurrah of moving rocks because it could be a really good signal. It's down deep enough that I'm hoping it's not a piece of aluminum. I'm going to put you under, hope you don't mind. Not a coin, but it's a nice pocket knife. Lots of brass on it. That could easily be um, quite old. It's got the shield. Could be a Barlow, I'm not sure. But yeah, that was a good sounded target. I was hoping it was gonna be a, a little bag of large scents, but I guess we'll take what we can get. Oh yeah, we'll take what we can get. I think I have a goodie. Look at that. Ah, ah, I think it's gonna be pouring. Let's give her a bath. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a uh, that's a large scent right there. You see Miss Liberty? Can't quite read the date. Uh, I'm gonna blow some air on it. Basically, all I do is go like that, and uh, when it's wet, that way you can see it a little bit better. And that is a sweetie right there. <laughs> nice. Got a really nice high squeaker, and I do believe it's another coin. I saw it come flying out of the hole. It's really green. See it? I almost positive I saw a coin. Oh, there it is. Look. Right there. Look. See it? Wow. That's gonna. I think that's a little smaller. That might be a half sitting right there. Take it down to the water and wash it off. Well, maybe it's the same size. Definitely more worn than the other one. But yeah, there's Miss Liberty right there. Makes it so you can read a little bit better. I think it's 1849 maybe. Maybe 1840, but yeah, that's a beauty right there, isn't it? So it had kind of a um, shaky signal right there. I thought it might be a little piece of aluminum. So I just went ahead and scratched it out and I kicked it back there and look at that. That is either going to be a little tiny silver coin or a button. What do you think? Is that a, a three cent piece? Or it might be for a button. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's a three cent piece. I haven't found very many of those. I'm not going to. Uh... Oh, it is, dude. Look at that. I think it's a three cent piece. Definitely silver. It could be a little silver button, I guess. Can you make anything out on it? It's got, oh, yeah, yeah, looky, it's got the star, look. It's 
good a star right there so i think that's a three cent piece or what they call a trime wow that's the most awesome you know i've actually only i think i've only ever found one of these it was in a civil war camp many many years ago my i handed it to my buddy he wanted to look at it and he broke it in two and i've since uh, lost the uh, two pieces but yeah that's the three cent piece you can see a little three right there these are really kind of thin so you don't want to don't want to uh break them in half <laughs> nice yeah i'll get you a good picture of that isn't that sweet that is really that is really cool man <laughs> it's getting to be kind of a little hot spot isn't it oh man i haven't had a day like this in coins in a while Let's see what else is here There's a little squeaker in here i don't think it's a coin but it's uh i'm hoping it's going to at least be a button a button oh no it looks like he fired far from bullet that's what i get for getting you out is it yeah i think so Yeah. Yeah, so that's a um pretty sure yeah, that's a modern bullet. You can see it's got the copper jacket on it. And that's the bullet nose, I do believe. I'll look at it a little bit closer, but I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Well, I have what could be another coin, although I'm not sure of the size of it. It's kind of weird though. It could be a button. It could be a modern penny. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's weird. Um, I think that's a mo that's a modern penny. That's a Lincoln cent that's just really, really corroded. I'm down about a hundred feet from where we found the other coins. I'm just hoping that uh, there were going to be some more down here. But well, there is a coin, but it's not very old. Not, definitely not as old as me. Very sad. Odd little piece of brass. Uh, you know that might be a keyhole right there. It actually might be like the bottom to a lock or something but it's uh definitely 100 percent solid solid brass give off a really good signal if that is a lock man i don't know how they would have made that strong enough to hold together well it didn't hold together did it <laughs> let me answer my own question i had a big old squawker of a signal right here and i couldn't find it i was just like looking for it it's huge and then i looked up and there it is this actually was up high i was looking down here you know, getting it through the top of the uh, the loop, but yeah, that's a big old pickaxe or axe or pick. Could be broken, but uh, that's hand forged. This is right where I found the coins, right there. So this is probably uh, from the same time period. But that's uh, that's a beauty. I'm thinking it's probably broken now. I can't imagine it's just a pick like that. Yeah, see the other half is broken off, so. Still, that was kind of cool little find right there. I guess I'll throw it in the boat. I had a signal here and uh, kind of sounded weird. So I just kind of kicked the stones back with my foot. And I looked over and I think this came out of the hole. I do believe that's going to be part of a shoe buckle. Not 100%, but it sure does look like it from here. Yep. So that would date back into the 1700s. Isn't that weird? Um, kind of got a weird, it almost looks like it's zinc, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a shoe buckle or some kind of, might not be a shoe buckle. <laughs> kind of looks like it though, I tell you. But it looks like it's zinc. Or pewter, I guess it could be pewter, but yeah, some type of buckle. Hmm. Not so sure now. We'll have to think about that one. So this looks like another button. It's almost like a two-piece. See how it's kind of puffy? So I can't uh, can't make out a design on it, but it looks like it's got a little bit of gilt, gilt on it still, a little bit of uh, kind of gold color shining through. I'll try to clean that up a little bit better today and we'll get you a picture of it before we quit. Uh, it's kind of interesting though. It's a big uh, like leather rivet or something. I guess it's leather rivet, it's still got leather on it. Um, I don't know how old that could, is. I mean, it could be Civil War era. It could be before or actually after. So, well, it looks like I got another coin. And that's going to be a, uh, either a colonial copper or a British copper. Oh, sweet. Hold on a second. I'm going to give it a little puff. 
yeah I can't really see anything on that side but this side definitely you can see the bust I think that's going to be a King George although I'm not 100% but I'm pretty sure that's what it is you guys probably already know half of you I'm not going to complain about that I actually moved down river uh, about 100 yards from where we're finding the other one so this is actually a pretty good sign because but 100 yards of river that we haven't really checked yet down on the bag hopefully we don't lose it another really good signal here not quite as high as that um, those coins we've been finding unfortunately it's right in the right behind this tree so there's kind of a little bit of low pressure area here but i think that's going to be a good target <laughs> of course you can't see it so i don't even know why i'll get you out just haven't had a lot of uh clear water all right i'm gonna put you away and uh dig it up well, it's not a joyful find. It's actually a fired uh, pistol bullet. It's probably from a uh, 45 government. It's got a nice solid copper jacket on there with a lead core. So I'll give it a really good squeak. Not as high as a large scent though. Uh, but I thought we might have had a good button, but not that signal. Look at the little uh, crawdad hole there. See where he's been digging it out. So I hope you enjoyed that little hunt. We got some pretty nice finds. I was really actually kind of surprised. And we'll definitely be coming back to this stretch of the river. I'll get you some really good pictures, close-up pictures, so you can see the dates and stuff on these. Now, you didn't see that spoon because I found that early before I really started doing the video. Um, and it wasn't until I, I guess I found that button that I decided. No, I found that's the first thing I found. That's a little musket ball that's been fired. And once I found that and that button, I think it was the second signal, I decided to go ahead and make the video. So, but what we have here is um, we got one, two, three, four, five coins. We actually have six, but one of them is kind of modern. Well, seven, two of them are modern. But yeah, these are like a couple large cents right there. This is a probably a king george of some sort and that's a little trime which is a three cent piece that's silver uh and that i think is a v nickel i'm not 100 percent but i'll get some good close-ups for you on those things and uh i think that's a shoe buckle right there not 100 percent either but i want to go ahead and scoop pretty quick so i can get home get some supper i've been on the river all day and uh, but had a blast we'll get back out here again <laughs> maybe tomorrow we'll see you then she'll shake the corn from your pocket take your gold chain and your locket mother earth has no sympathy she'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity mother earth she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep she don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between.